welcome back to my channel stop thanks for uh, stopping by another video sorry if I sound a little funky today I'm feeling a little under the weather um, not the best way to like go into the new year feeling sick and like crap but here we are um, I don't want to make this video too long because uh, like I said I, I'm feeling a little under the weather but the only highlight of today is probably the fact that I finally get to change my tray. Um, and I can say, like, to be honest, December was a very weird month. Um, it's been weird in weather and also, like, I think I picked some off perfumes for the weather. We had a couple unusually warm days and then it would get like bitterly cold and then back to unusually warm. I think we had a day where it was like 55 degrees outside. It was like a beautiful spring day in the middle of December. So yeah, it was a little weird. And I think with the fluctuations in weather that I wasn't expecting, um, some of these perfumes did not work out at all, but I still love them. Um, they were just not really like weather appropriate. Some favorites for the month is my amber vanilla oil. I like to wear this a lot to bed. It's a beautiful like powdery vanilla ambery scent. I've pretty much like have like I've only got a couple drops left. I'll probably use this up for bedtime again. And I think other than that one, the rest of these I had a bit of an issue with. Um, well and not even me like the weather it was just too warm to wear some of them and i didn't really appreciate that also what makes me so sad is that my husband did not like any of these fragrances like any of them um he's not at all a gourmand type of guy he does not like those um sweet very sweet like cakey type scents so these two which I absolutely love. Like, I'm not a gourmand girly at all, but I love these two. Shirosa 71 and then this True Fragrance Praline and Pistachio. These are so good. Like, they smell delicious. They smell so good. Um, my husband did not like these at all. He's like, <laughs> every, time I, <laughs> every time I would spray that, he's like, why does it smell like cookies and marshmallows in here? And I would sit there like all awkward, like, um, that's probably me. <laughs> He's like, you <laughs> he would be like, you smell like a milkshake. You smell like cookies and marshmallows. And look, it's like the most backhanded <laughs> compliment ever. So if you're the type of person who likes to smell like cookies and marshmallows and vanilla and milkshakes and whatnot, um, definitely pick these up. If you are not the type of person who appreciates these, stay away. I, I, I'm not a gourmand person, but I, I absolutely love these. My husband, not so much of a fan. Another one of my favorites, but my husband did not like was M by Mariah Carey. I love this one. As you can see, like, um, I use this up a bit, but really a few sprays is all you need. This is surprisingly a very, very well constructed, um, well blended, and just a beautiful celebrity fragrance. It has great longevity. It is a beautiful, like sweet and slightly salty, white floral, vanillic, marshmallowy scent. It's beautiful. And one of my all time favorites, one of like my top tens easily. My husband, again, not so much. He did not. <laughs> he was not a fan, a fan of this one. Same goes for Twilly, um, Au Poivre. Now, I can definitely see why he doesn't like this one. It is a very mature and very floral, very heavy powdery floral scent. Um, this is a, a cheaper style fragrance. Uh, and he was not a fan of it. I don't think he appreciated the powdery rose uh, profile that this perfume has. I like it. I think it is quite a nice scent. I also struggle with this though, um, particularly in the warmer weather. I feel like it's a little too much, a little too stuffy 
for warm weather. It, this is just in, in my opinion. Um, definitely would be better for a nice colder day. Um, one that he also didn't like, uh, but I, I love this one was this Jasmine and Cedarwood. I ended up really liking this. I thought like it would be a pretty good, like dupe for Baccarat Rouge. I would say more like it's definitely inspired by it. It goes its own way. Like it has that same spice and airiness that VR540 has, but you can definitely pick up that sweetened cedar wood and um, that jasmine scent. It's very, very nice. I truly like this one. Um, my husband thinks that... <laughs> my husband thinks that it smells like a spicy... <laughs> like a spicy man. <laughs> so... So take that, take that with a grain of salt and take that however you want to. But I like it. I think it smells sexy and I don't mind smelling like a sexy, spicy man. <laughs> um, one that actually kind of disappointed me was La Via Belle. Like, it's all right. It honestly was just an all right fragrance. Um, and what sucks is that like, I don't know. I had such high hopes. I actually owned this little hand cream before, and I think I like the smell of the hand cream more than the perfume. Like, isn't that weird? I, there's something about this hand cream. I think it smells like a little creamier, a little more toned down that I prefer than this one. Something about that black currant and like that syrupy fruity opening with that patchouli vase, I'm not a fan of. I wish you were prob I wish you were more floral <clears throat> and less gourmand. Um although I don't even know how they would consider this like a floral gourmand. I, I, it doesn't really make me think of anything like gourmand besides the fact that it's a very sweet sweet perfume but like syrupy sweet. It's okay. It honestly was okay. It didn't like blow me away or anything but yeah that one was all right okay um Dolce & Gabbana the only one too I actually made a pretty good dent in this one about halfway through a one fluid ounce bottle this one's nice I ooh, sorry if it's like a little little dirty <laughs> sorry um I like this one more than the original uh Dolce & Gabbana the only one Funny enough, I really want to try the only one in Tense and see how that is. There's something again with like that violet note. I feel like ever since I smelled that violet in the original, the only one, I can't unsmell it now in all of the flankers. I haven't smelled the the only one in Tense, but in this one and the 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 regular only one, like. That violet is too much. It's a little more toned down in this one and sweetened with like red berries and fruits. But again, it just, it gives me like that, a little unsettling vibe in my stomach. I think violet just doesn't sit well with me. What sucks is like I'm smelling all of these perfumes, knowing that like my nose is kind of stuffed up. So I'm picking up some scent <laughs> profiles that I would have never normally picked up. And it's very interesting. Like that one I'm, I picked, in the only one, like I picked up the violet a lot more than if I had smelt it like a month ago. Tobacco and Tonka Bean was really, really nice. This one surprised me. This smells so good. This smells so sexy. This is a beautiful vanilla perfume. Like just a beautiful, sweet and fruity vanilla perfume. I really do not get much tobacco. Um, so I guess if you're the type of person who is very, right, so if you're the type of person who is it a fan of like tobacco, perhaps try this one out um, because I didn't get anything smoky or anything that would resemble like a tobacco note, but this smelled really, really good, really good. At last is another favorite of five. This is Guest Seductive Noir. Oh, this is just a beautiful, like, 
beautiful sexy aromatic vanilla scent um, and really really nice for December even on like the warmer days that we had this one held on its own it pulled through um, yep I just love looking at this bottle it's so pretty let me just clean off my tray because I think I spilled some perfume oil on the glass part um, I don't know if you could see like I spilled some oil on the glass part so be right back all right we are back nice and clean and good as new um, so let me not waste any time I've got a couple interesting perfumes lined up for the month of January a lot of them are actually majority of them are pretty new to my collection um, I had hauled them like months ago and I just haven't had a chance to wear them yet um, some of them are old favorites so let me stop start with that one the first one I have is uh, Ariana Grande's Cloud um, I had this one in the past and I had given it to my sister because she liked it a lot um, and I also had like other perfumes that might have smelled like it I still do like I realize now with my collection I have a perf quite a few perfumes that have the same profile like set profile with just maybe tweaked or an added note or a subtracted note or whatever but this is a really nice one I think to be honest I might just take it out and put it like this but I kind of like it in its stand it's too cute I don't know I'll just put it in for now I'll put it to the side because it's got its own stand next one is a perfume that we're revisiting this is coach wild rose um god i've got like fingerprints all over it sorry guys this is coach wild rose um and this is a very very beautiful interesting perfume it has a very it opens up with like a very sweet tart slightly sour jammy rose and then dries down to like this ambery airy almost like cloud like uh scent profile it is very beautiful i think the first time i had it in my rotate my perfume tray rotation i think it was back in my october or november tray and i don't know i had some issues with it i think it was just too warm that was my issue i think it was just way too warm to wear a perfume like that so every time i wore it it was so stuffy i felt so stuffy with the fragrance on um, almost like I was being choked out and it gave me a headache um, you can see like I, I really did try to give it some wear and I, I constantly got a headache with it so now that the weather has gotten much cooler I'm going to revisit it and see how it works I have a feeling maybe this is more of like a winter perfume instead of a spring and fall type of scent next one is an old favorite of mine this is Juicy Couture this is the original Juicy Couture um, it, unfortunately I don't have the little charms and dangles on it like most of the bottles do I got this like heavily discounted this is a beautiful like sweet fresh creamy white floral perfume um, this is this is a classic in my opinion as much as people like to hate on Juicy Couture like this is a classic Viva La Juicy is a classic and they just smell good and this one had like this one lasts this you would not expect it, especially for it being like such an old fragrance, but this has really good longevity. It lasts forever on clothes. Um, it's And it's a great year-round uh, fragrance, like spring, summer, winter, fall. You could easily, easily wear a fragrance like that. And those are the types of perfumes that I tend to gravitate towards. I like perfumes that you can wear easily year-round next one is a fragrance that i like to wear for bed a lot this is juliet has a gun not a perfume oh my god this is not a perfume by juliet has a gun i feel like everyone always confuses them and i'm also one of them because why they make their titles so big and then the name of the perfume so small and this is a much more interesting title than not a perfume but i digress whatever this is a beautiful beautiful unique and interesting perfume like i can't even find the right words to describe it because it's not necessarily floral it's not wood 
woody it's not citrusy fresh it's I guess like what the title says it's not a perfume although I feel like that title is a bit gimmicky this is just a really cool concept um, I believe it, it is a molecular fragrance but to me this smells like those fuzzy dryer sheets like it smells like when you take the clothes out of the dryer and it's still warm and it has like that fuzzy almost like clean laundry almost like clean like laundry like scent to it I really really like wearing this to bed it's such a nice perfume it's a very inoffensive perfume um, yeah I and it's it's an interesting one Next is a favorite of mine. This is a customized perfume that I had made for my birthday. My husband treated me as a gift. This is um, from Old Factory, New York. This perfume, I named it Peach Tree because it has notes of peach. I believe there's tonka bean, there's musk in this. Um, there's some sort of other like freshness. It's It's been a while. I think I made this fragrance like last year for my birthday and I've gotten some wear, but these actually last like really, really long. Um, it has good, good longevity. I think this is a cool little experience, cool little uh, gift that you could treat yourself or to your friend, your mom, whomever. Next fragrance that I have is by Philosophy. Now, I'm a big Philosophy fan. I love their perfumes. I don't necessarily care for like their skincare products like their soaps and lotions, it's whatever. But I do like their fragrances quite a lot. I love, my favorite is uh, Pure Grace. Um, and this is a flanker from Pure Grace. This is Nude Rose. And this is an awesome fragrance. Oh my God. If you're the type of person who likes rose scents, I think you would like this one. It is, a, it is such a unique rose scent. Um, if you're the type of person who likes Chloe, like the Chloe signature, you might like this one. Um, it's green, it's rosy, it's, I don't know how they managed to make it like a warm fragrance while also being very fresh. I love this one so much. And this is, it's a strong fragrance. I, I should also say like the last time I wore this was back in November last year and I've only put a little bit in it because a little goes a long way with this one, in my opinion at least. So can't wait to try this one for the month of January. Next fragrance I got is from a gift set and this is Mont Blanc Signature. And I cannot tell you guys how long like I was searching for a fragrance like this. Like, well, not like this, but this specific fragrance. Cause I heard such good things about it. I've heard such really great things about it on YouTube, um, TikTok. People always say that this is just a great yearly, year round scent. It's like a, creamy soapy clean scent and that sounds like my type of scent profile and i searched high and low and i could never find it especially because i always see mont blanc but i always see the men's fragrances at like burlington and tj maxx i happen to find the signature uh gift set here so it came with a little body lotion i happen to find this one at a nordstrom rack and yeah, I, I, I paid a pretty penny for this one. I played myself <laughs> because apparently it's supposed to be an inexpensive fragrance, but I guess that only counts for the men. So that's, I now have it in my collection at least, so I'm not going to complain. Um, and I can't wait to test this one out. Another fragrance I had, this was like a little gift for myself for like my birthday. Um, this was Miss Dior. I had purchased this one and J'adore. Like I kind of treated myself to it last year and I like practically drank up half of my Dior bottle. <laughs> and I was kind of saving this one for like more, cooler days. Um, this is just a little one fluid ounce, I believe. And the bottle is gorgeous. It's so pretty. This gives off like girly vibes. Um, and this is a very pretty powdery and vanilla scent and i think this will do nicely in january when we have like cold days and last but not least um this was surprisingly like a hype fragrance i didn't know that until after i bought it this is a vanilla potion 
from True Fragrance at a TJ Maxx. I actually like recently hauled this just before the holidays back in October, November. I think November. And apparently this was like all the rage on TikTok. But the ones that they were showing, I think it had like a little green um, label on it. I, I don't know if maybe like this is a different version or if they reformulated. Whatever this one is, it's nice. It's really nice. It's like a like a sweet, slightly fresh vanilla scent. It's like nothing to rage home about. Granted, um, I loved the praline and pistachio more when I had sniffed them. So, you know what? Maybe I, I need to just give this one more of a chance. And I think I think I might like this one a lot too. If it if it's gonna be anything like the praline and pistachio. Although if it is anything like the praline and pistachio, then I can 100% guarantee that my husband won't like this. <laughs> oh well, too bad. Like it smells good. It really does smell good. To me at least. I never... <sighs> Hold on guys. I swear to God, like, it's never a proper tray without it being, like, overstuffed. <laughs> but that's, um, that's looking to be my tray for January. Let me know what you guys think. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. I always appreciate it. Um, subscribe if you want to. You can check out my other videos. I do a lot of other, like, monthly trays and perfume reviews. Trying to, at least. And whomever, you know, whoever is subscribed currently, thank you so much, guys. Like, I really, 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 really appreciate you guys. Like, from the bottom of my heart. It means a lot to know that there are people who also enjoy fragrances as much as I do and want to hang out with me and watch my videos and, you know, see what I have to say about my little expensive hobby <laughs> and you know we can all share the madness and craziness while we all smell good you know just again thank you guys so much um talk to me in the comments below and i'll see you in my next video bye